nervous system is one of the most important organ systems of the human body. It comprises the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves. The nervous system is responsible for the regulation of all the activities of a human body, be it internal processes like digestion, respiration or carrying out of daily activities like hearing, answering the telephone, riding a bicycle, understanding a problem or memorizing a lesson. Let us gather some more knowledge about the nervous system and its parts. Brain It is the body's most important organ and control center and is also a major part of the nervous system. It is located in the head and is well protected by the bony skull. The brain has three parts the cerebrum, the cerebellum and the medulla. Each part has its own specific functions. Cerebrum The cerebrum is the topmost and the largest part of the brain. It consists of two parts and has a dome-shaped surface. It controls our sense organs and is also responsible for our thinking and reasoning abilities. The cerebrum receives messages from the sense organs and sends back messages about what has to be done. Our thoughts, memories, intelligence, learning are also controlled by the cerebrum. For this reason, it is sometimes also called the thinking part of our brain. Cerebellum The cerebellum is located at the back of the brain, just below the cerebrum. The cerebellum coordinates voluntary movements such as balance, posture, speech and muscle coordination of the body. Medulla The lowest part of the brain is called the medulla or the brain stem. It forms a bridge between the brain and the spinal cord. It controls involuntary actions such as digestion, respiration, blood circulation and heartbeats. The medulla never stops working, even when we are asleep or suddenly fall unconscious. Spinal Cord The spinal cord starts from the base of the medulla and goes down the middle of the back till the lower end of the backbone. It is a long, thick bundle made up of nerves well protected by the bony vertebral column or backbone. The spinal cord helps the brain to exchange information between the brain and the rest of the body. This is done through nerves. The spinal cord also controls reflex actions, sudden actions not involving the brain. Example. Impromptu removal of finger on coming in contact with a hot object. Nerves Nerves are made up of tiny nerve cells or neurons. They carry messages from the different parts of our body to our brain and spinal cord. This is why they are also known as messengers of the body. There are three types of nerves in our body with each type carrying out a specific function. Sensory nerves They send information 
from the sense organs such as skin, eyes, nose, tongue, ears to the brain and the spinal cord. Motor nerves They send information from the brain or spinal cord to muscles or parts of the body. Mixed nerves Mixed nerves comprise both motor and sensory nerves and thus carry messages to and from the brain. Reflex actions The body's control center, the brain, is responsible for almost all activities going on inside the body. Yet, there are some that are controlled by the spinal cord only without the help of the brain. These are called reflex actions. Reflex actions are automatic, immediate and involuntary responses. If you unknowingly touch a hot vessel, the sensory nerves from the skin immediately carry the message of pain that is burn to the spinal cord. The spinal cord responds immediately sending a message to the hand through the motor nerves to pull back the hand. The actions are very fast, taking not even a few seconds. Eyes Eyes help us to see the world around us. Each eye is a ball-like organ that is protected by a bony socket of the skull. The eyelids and eyelashes protect the eyes from dust or any other foreign body entering the eyes. The iris is the central, colored, round part of the eye. The color of the iris may vary and can be black, brown, blue or green. In the center of iris, there is a small dark part called the pupil. Behind the pupil lies the lens. The innermost layer of the eye is called retina. Light enters the eye through pupil and falls on the retina after passing through the lens. The sensory nerves in the retina called optic nerves transmit the images formed on the retina to the brain so that they can be interpreted. The brain then processes these signals and we come to know what we have seen. Ears Our ears help us hear different types of sounds. This is a very important sense organ and is divided into three sections. The outer visible part called pinna, middle ear and inner ear. Sound travels through air as sound waves. The shape of the pinna helps it to catch the sound waves. These waves travel through the external ear and into the middle ear through a membrane. The eardrum causing it to vibrate. These vibrations are then passed on to the inner ear. The auditory nerve which connects the inner ear to the brain passes on the message to the brain which in turn interprets it in the understandable form to us. Tongue The tongue contains numerous taste buds which have small groups of taste receptor cells that react to chemicals in food. Taste buds react to sweet, sour, salty and bitter tastes. Messages are sent from the taste buds to the areas in the brain responsible 
for interpreting taste. Nose Though we look at the nose simply as a breathing organ, it helps us to differentiate between smells, fragrance or stink. The inner part of our nose is lined with hair, which helps in trapping dirt and dust particles from the inhaled air. The nerve that connects it to the brain is called the olfactory nerve. There is a strong connection between the sense of smell and sense of taste. That is why when we smell something yummy, we are able to guess its taste. Skin The skin, our body's largest organ, helps us feel the sensations of touch, cold, heat, pain and pressure. The nerve endings in the skin carry the message of sensation to the brain which in turn interprets the sensation. Wasn't it interesting learning about the nervous system of our body?